just get out here and walk. And I'll meet you in the facility once I park the ship. Welcome to Taspir. I am Boops Boops of Human Cyborg Relations. It is a pleasure to welcome you to our establishment. During your stay, please avoid falling into any exposed pools of molten lava as it may have a negative impact on your visit. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall conduct you to our next destination. Thank you, Boopsy. Do you like Boopsy or do you prefer the full Boops Boops? I have been called many things since my activation. In the interest of ongoing relations, you may call me whatever you wish. That is kind of terrible for you. I feel bad. We have connected on an interpersonal level. I feel successful. Oh. I see. Greetings, Mons. Are your team members experiencing a pleasant burn-free stay? Why, yes, they are. Oh, hi. Um, I don't know if we were introduced. I'm Finn. I am Boops Boops of Human Cyborg Relations. Uh, yes, I met you, Boops Boops. This is Mons Drakar, leader of the Keldor Engineers. Mons Drakar? I think I caught that in freshman year of college. Maybe some open mouth kissing, you know? Eh? Eh? Sorry. Shouldn't make fun. I do not know what you are speaking of at all. Good! Right, that's awesome. How are you? I'm okay. Do you like working here? It's a job secret research. The Keldor have been vital in adapting their technology for use in this project. Oh, um, what sort of technology? Very advanced Keldor technology. Like? Well, it appears that some of us Keldor are immune to the mind-controlling devices. Through, like, the breathing masks? Sure. Oh, so you're not sure. I see. So it probably didn't work with anyone else. Not for everyone, no. That's why we're trying this method now. Oh, well that's... that's I, I have to thank you for your contribution. It's very noble. Don't thank me. I retract it. Good. That was a very diplomatic response. I praise you for your adaptability. Hey, you don't praise me either. Fascinating. This reminds me of the Chancellor's Protocol Unit, Aaron Fane. I wonder what version of operating system assets he is utilizing. Have you seen him? Yeah, okay, I've seen his assistant's ass, and it's incredible. Sorry, did I speak out of turn? Your behavior requires no need for apology. I am programmed to omit details from the official record when warranted. You're recording this? Oh god, I'm leaving now. I no longer feel successful. O oh, wise and mighty Crayola the Hutt, I have traveled long and far to seek your your attention and your favor. <laughs> you have my attention. I have come here to purchase information about some of the people in this galaxy that have wronged you. The Republic Investigation Division, namely its two chief investigators. <laughs> Yes, those two. They wronged me in the past, but I wish for revenge. Well, I can help you with that in one way or another. Master Okami desires <clears throat> them to be brought into... <clears throat> Master Okami is making business tough. Well, while his new loyal planets serve him, we can come to an arrangement for you. Five times the price. Yes. So what should the price be? Depends on the information you want. We've lost track of Rio Vela and Finroy Artibius. Do you have any information on where they went after leaving Elusula? Hmm. Crayola, name your price. Cofone, Narcrita, and Draco Versailles. Those are planet names. Yes. Planets. Your your price is planets. They have competition that I need taken care of. I can understand Caffeine and Narcrita, those are rival hut worlds, but Draco Versailles, that's owned by Connery. He can be a thorn in my side sometimes too. Oh ho ho ho, 
the things I will do when it is out of the way. Before I even picture thorns and hut sacks, I'm going to consult my master with this and come back with the answer shortly. We will have the information waiting for you upon your reply. Thank you, your excellency. You have reached the Tisper Primary Research Labs. By entering, you have given your agreement to our security and secrecy protocols. Oh, great, thanks. It is at this point that I will introduce you to our primary beneficiaries and scientists. Okay. Error in protocol, scientist not present, I must apologize. Once our primary scientist emerges from her office, I shall introduce her promptly. And this is Zellerin Arif. What? Come again? Zellerin Arif. The bloody hell are you? I'm. I Don't care, too busy, gotta go. Excuse me, mistress, but this. Mistress, where the fucking hell is my wrench? Can't fucking find it again. Where's that thingamajig? Put it on the bebop. I can offer you my repulsor lift winch or a hyper spanner. Bloody hell is that? The Hydra Spanner is a type of common hand tool used as an all-purpose socket wrench and bit driver. The Regalus Engineering- Sure, fine. Use it on that shingamajig over there. Mistress, this is Fenroy Artibius of R.I.D. He brings with him research relevant to your interests. Oh, is that right, is it? Uh, yes, that is it. So what you got for me? I've got a little file here I can give to you. Data. Data? You come at me with data? You know, data? Experience? Mission reports? How long have you been working here? A while? Too bloody long is why I've long I've been working here and I've got 300 bloody interns just walking about the place acting like they own everything. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you made much progress? Have I made much progress? Do you know who the bloody hell you're talking to? I believe I heard a name. Zellerin Arif. Yes, Miss... Uh, or Doctor... Arith... It's pronounced error? Yes. yes, that's what I said. Most of the confusion comes from the fact that there is a question mark in her surname. My I'm mother was a drunk. I'm sorry? Why be sorry is my bloody name, is it? Man's was all that bloody ruckus over there! First batch of shields are done. Bloody hell, finally. Oh, so you have completed some. That's great. That's wonderful. Only a few. Other beeps are popcorn. I love popcorn. So, how many legs is too many legs? I'd say the more the merrier. Uh, well, at a certain point you're just getting your butt kicked. Yeah, it, it really stinks getting kicked by 12 legs at once. Oh, um, Avi, Aaron, what are you both doing here? I mean, it's great to see you. You're both very handsome. We're just checking up to see how the shields are coming along. Well, they've made a few, and some popcorn. And I've been driving people back and forth here all month. Oh, I'm glad that I got the memo that informs me of these things in our organization. So, back to the legs then. Six is a good number? I'd say so. Anodyne relays? Yep. Mirage colloid particles? Sure is. This is really amazing technology. Why, oh, thank you. But what's the power source? It's a really good power source. I think you mean Duralium, sir. Isaiah, what are you doing here? Providing the power source. That makes sense, although I'm a little surprised they didn't get it from the Republic. You want the best from the true source. That's us. Hmm. Well, I guess it makes sense with your extensive control over the element that you'd help with these personal element shield dispensers. Alright, yes. And now I just need some help from your guys' manual labor to get it off of my ship, because... It is just myself, this time. Well, luckily, they managed to establish this highly secret research institute on a planet full of students for college, so there should be plenty of students to work as interns for us. Hey, Tyler, we're going my way. What you want? What do you want to do? Sound over there. Uh, please? Hey, Tyler, it's kind of heavy. Can we get more people? No, it's just you. How's it going in here then? It's it's going okay, I suppose. Just okay? What's the problem? The injured's a little sketchy. And slow. Smack him about! I don't want to kill him. Why not? We're on a planet full of lava, just burn his arse. But then the work doesn't get done. It does on my planet. 
As a member of the Republic Investigation Division, I have to object on moral grounds to killing these students. Well, that's why I'm trying to involve the fewest amount possible, so that if they happen to spill the knowledge of my location, I have to kill less of them. Oh, what a wonderful partnership the Chancellor has weaved for us. Yes. What is this bloody intern then? I don't know, it smells like somebody farted over here though. That's just the lava. Oh god, can we have marshmallows and cook? Oh, well, apparently there's some popcorn over there. How's that for now? I'm on the boxes, give me popcorn. Hello! Hello, Stan. This is Rival. I know. I recognize by your scratchy, metallic voice. Can I speak to Master Okami, please? Sure, but what's the password? Special Liaison Officer. That's right. Okami! It's Darth Rival or whatever. Put him through, Stan. No, you gotta walk over. What? I'm putting him through, sorry! How goes it, Rival? I've obtained the information that you requested. You have obtained it? It seems our ideas traveled to Taspir on a secret mission that they received from the Chancellor. Wow, sounds like we should send quite a few troops over there. I fear it might be worse than that. I believe they're trying to establish some sort of defense mechanism against the Kiva effect. It's times like this that I wish I kept the plant destroying abilities of this station. Well, if we brainwash all those on the planet to serve you, they might not be a threat any longer. That is true. I will go ahead and orchestrate the fleet to go over there. Uh, you should return, Rival. You can help lead the attack. Excellent. Shall see you soon, my master. Okami out. Well, I think I'll take a breather over here. Hey, Finn. Welcome. Hey, Rio. Hey, Isaiah. Hello. Did he, he's here providing element uh, to the research. Oh, did you did you know this was a secret base? I have an agreement with the Chancellor to oh. help you. Oh, you're on speaking terms with the Chancellor. Perhaps that's why he was so short in assigning us here, is he didn't want to get into the nitty gritty. Yeah. So. Rio, I have a question. Yes. That I overheard in another conversation. Legs, number of legs. How many would you date? Well, my personal best is four, but I, I've heard... Personal best, so more is better for you. Well, there's just so many more options, you know. Isaiah? Uh, the more the better, because that means there's more people there for me. An interesting perspective. But I mean legs on one person. On one person? Oh. Mm. You don't have to answer. I'm not going to. So I uh, provided Dr. Error uh, the research we got from the Kiba and we're flash sealing the shield dispensers with some carbonite. So once that's done they should be ready for their first preliminary tests. Oh. You know, they're making a bunch of popcorn, too, so we got to make sure they don't... Oh, yeah, if they put those that together, up. that'd be very bad. The oils could damage the circuits. Yeah. So is there some sort of controlled test group we're going to try this out? Because I want to see it in action from space. Oh, of course, we're not going to put anyone through this, you know, without the proper protocols in place. Um, you love protocols when they're not droids. You are correct. And, you know... I don't want to be part of the test group. No, no. If at all possible, that's why I have minions. Well, in a way, the Republic has minions on this planet. It acts as the dorm for Camino University, so the students are here receiving special credits for their science courses. Do and we're going to give the them a bunch of prototype shields that may or may not work, right? Well, yes, we don't have any of the nanite tech on hand, so mainly we're going to just subject them to other particle bases, but, well, you know, testing the shields, it's very unlikely to... There, there are stages the to these things. 
what's to guarantee that they'll even hold on to them? They're just a bunch of students partying, from what I've seen. They're dropping shit all over the place. That guy couldn't even carry my... Duralium. Like a mine. Bless you. Thankfully, the shield emitter is uh, bracelet, so it's not going to be reliant on people carrying it around. I hope it'll fit on my wrist someday. I have slender wrists. Well, I'm f sure we can find a way to strap it to you somehow. Hey, Okami. Yes, Stan? Do you have a wish that, like, hyperspace was faster? Yes, Dan. But what if it got too fast and you, like, fell over? Some form of ludicrous speed? No, why would it be ludicrous? Because you fell I over. I am giving you a serious suggestion. I believe that speed is still experimental, Stan. Oh, who's experimenting on it? Me, of course. Oh. Well, actually, by me, I mean... Um, a certain, maybe one or two you of the planets I may have taken you should, over. You should test it on uh, Slice, on your girlfriend. Running away now! Attention, attention, Akiba Battle Station has arrived in orbit. A Kiba or the Kiba, be specific. I am unable to provide information about how many Kiba stations there are. There's only one! Why would you say A? Semantics indicate that I should prepare for any possibility, such as multiple Kibas being built. Okay, um, everyone, uh, we are about to be brainwashed when he fires that beam. Could we do something? I can believe we... I have a ship station nearby. Okay, but can we get everyone to your ship in time? Yes. I'm sure it's a great ship. In fact, I've been on it, but, um, it can't fit the whole planet. But it can fit the six of us. Yes, but not everyone can run as fast as you. You're very fit. Thank you, but unless you've got a better idea, I suggest we get going. Okay, um, Isaiah, did you bring any of the Trade Fed starships? Why would I bring it for just myself? Okay, never mind. We need to use the shields, then. The shields! Hi, people. We need to test the shields. Right? Well, yes, that's the point. Well, then let's do it! All right. Mistress, shall I cipher lock and encrypt our database? Of course, if there's a bloody en enemy in this vicinity, go ahead. Commencing planetary encryption. Please be advised, no further droid interface will be possible until databases are decrypted. Thank you, you bloody bot. I have spectated. We have arrived in orbit of Caspian. All right. I guess before we blow everything to hell, we should at least see what's here. Initial scans indicate a roster of university students and possibly a secret research installation. And possibly a secret research installation. I have expected it is shielded against sensor scans. Can we aim the Kiva at it? I have expected the coordinates are easily accessible. Charge the station and fire at those coordinates. I have spectated the Kiba will be ready to fire in one minute. I have spectated the Kiba will be ready to fire in 55 seconds. Okay, so far so good. I think we're ready for this, right? Right? How long of a boot-up process does this normally take? Why isn't yours working? It should be. Why isn't his working? Why isn't mine working? Oh, uh, I think we microwave that one with popcorn. Why would you do that? Finn, move over. I'm gonna cram in with you. I, I, it's not how it works! You can't I'm gonna try and... I have same to try. Time. Come no, on. No! Just turn it off and then turn it on when I'm next to you, maybe? Warning, the Kiba has fired its weapon. Oh, damn it. Just say I died valiantly or something.
No. I'm not brainwashed. Aaron, you brainwashed? I don't know. How do you tell? I don't know. Do you want Okami to live forever? I guess not. Okay. I'm not brainwashed either. Isaiah? I don't know. Does it feel any different than normal, do you think? What because comes, I, what's the first thing to pop into your mind when I say Okami? Uh, Judith Mako? That's probably not brainwashed. Oh, um... Why? Good question. Oops, but run off brain scan of those who are brainwashed. Commencing brain scan. No, no, mm-mm. I'm not, no. I'm good. Error. Brain scan inconclusive. Isaiah's species does not exist within the galactic database. Well, that's a little racist. Oh, hell, or come here! I was about to ask if it was just like a misfire in general, because nothing different seemed to happen, but that guy clearly seems affected. <laughs> oh, call me number one! Suggestion. It would be tactically wise to initiate a calm and orderly evacuation while our enemy believes he has ended this threat. To the ship? To the ships, I guess. Alright, um, I'm gonna go find Rio. Uh, we need to keep in touch with you, though, for whatever happened here. That's weird. Correct. Um... Yeah. You'll uh, just, just have UM patch us through eventually. She loves patching everything with shields and other things. Okay. Okami, it doesn't look like it worked all the way. What? Why not all the way? Oh, me? Uh, yes. It looks like the analysis from the little spectator guy basically said that you hit the planet and you brainwash most of them, but the little area that was probably a secret research facility, maybe, several people didn't, it didn't work, and now they're orderly sauntering to their ships in an evacuation. Okay. Thought something like this could happen. Every ship point down at those coordinates and start firing. And give an order to everyone that is down on the planet now under our control that they should kill everyone that isn't. And any ships that we see leaving, destroy immediately. Okay, that's a lot of orders. I'm just gonna have to Take down a let me go get some paper. Open fire! Yes! That! Stan! Um, Okami, uh, do, you, do you want to know why it didn't work on everyone? Should we get the database? That database? You... The one you have ah. the fire on. Yeah, delay that order! Damn it! Don't fire at will! Fire at speed! <laughs> Oh, I like Steve. Area 4 secured. Send in FK to extract the data. Prepare to extract data. Connecting to data bills. Spectator 1, what have you found in the database? I have spectated that the database is completely inaccessible. Why is it inaccessible? Unlike earlier efforts by the Republic to shield information, they have encrypted it with an encryption so complex it has destroyed 15 droids so far attempting to access the information. For this reason, I have utilized other astromech droids to attempt the recovery ahead of myself. Probably a good plan. We'll need to gather more raw computing power, it sounds like. I have spectated only two likely sources for decryption in this galaxy. 
What are they? The collective mind of the spectator continuum, or the original droid that encrypted this database in the first place. What do we know about the original droid? It seems to be named after a small species of fish, called the Boops Boops. But of course, location is probably completely unknown. Trajectory of the escaping ships indicate that it is heading into the inner core worlds. So, what's the chances of us actually catching up and intercepting those ships? 38%. What's the chances of us finding the spectators? 0.0035%. Have the fleet plot an intercept course. Set course for boops boops! Status update. Have we cleared Okami's reach? Captain, the keeper's not following us anymore. Uh, what did our map say is a good rest spot? Well, the map make us tick and a nap. I think, uh, we go that way and we'll be clear? Maybe I'll suggest neutral territory. Um, there's a planet Kashmanek. Why don't you find the coordinates in your database? Okay. Technically, it's pirate territory, but we seem to be on good terms with them right now. Sounds good. So Finn, incomplete victory. Yeah. Uh, has dispensers worked? And apparently Isaiah is potentially immune biologically. Hmm. Yeah. It's really weird. It's just weirding me out all day. It's going to be weirding me out. Weirding me out till we find out for sure. You could call him once we get to Cashmanek. I don't really want to deal with the rest of the people he works with today. Okay, we'll text him. We love a family! We love a family! That was a great test of your vocal processors. I'm glad to see your systems are perfectly functional. Alright, Stan, I'm going away for a little while. What? It was this planned? Is this in your planner? I'm looking at your planner and it's not in there. It's not in the planner, Stan. Where are you going? That is for me to know. Oh, the secret place that Slice is always involved in. Yeah, Slice is staying here with you this time. Okay. Do I have to be nice to him? Are you ever nice to Slice? Occasionally, lately, yes. I, I will leave that at your discretion. Am I in charge of the fleet? No, Dax and Rival are doing Dax that. Rival? The girlfriend you just met a year ago and brainwashed, and the clone you just made from our enemies. That's great, Dad! I'll just go to my room! Beep boop! Droid walk away! I love you! The only part of that I found surprising was the I love you. Why is that so surprising, my master? I guess maybe it shouldn't be, but I expected him to just walk away in a huff. I'll document his activities while you're gone. Probably not necessary, but if you find the time, feel free to do so. Yes, my master. I must go now. I have to activate one of my more last resort plans, because it is obvious that our current situation is not optimal. You've worked very hard for this victory. We can't have a challenge at this point. Do whatever you need to, my master. Alright, take good care of the fleet rival. I will. Computer add entry to observation log. After recent events, I fear the critical mass of my empire has been reached. There is obviously too much for one Okami to handle. There are at least three or four different enemies, all requiring my full attention. Today I was reminded of the spectators, which I have not even thought about for weeks or months. The time has come to go to one of my contingency plans. Thanks to some of the technology I've been able to get from Spectator 1, I've started 
some experimental neural networks, which I'm hoping will assist me as I reactivate clones. A few at first, but I will activate as many as I need. This may also cause the need of another cloning facility for emergency purposes.